All right, welcome. Today we're going to talk about Lead Fuse. This is one of my favorite uh, B2B list building, you know, database uh, contact information apps out there. Uh, it's a little bit under the radar, um, you know, versus things like Apollo.io and stuff like that. But I've found personally that the data quality is extremely high and um, there's, there's just no annoying limits or, you know, weird stuff going on like some of these other apps. It's just really straightforward and it just works. Um, also, they have an AI algorithm that uh, cleans the emails and verifies emails and makes sure all the emails are verified. So you never deal with bounce rate. You never deal with all the you know kind of stuff that you might deal with with those other apps. They're just not um, verifying emails as well. So these guys do a really good job of verifying the emails. I've also been really impressed by just the different search filters um, that they have, and, and we'll dive into all that um, soon. But uh, but yeah, overall, a really, really great app. They also have an unlimited plan. You have to commit uh, to a yearly plan, but it's, I mean, that's just huge, you know, unlimited data um, that you can pull from the app. So um, that's really, really important. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's just one of, the, one of these uh, apps that's just sort of like doing uh, one of the best jobs out there. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the features, some of the filters, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now, first, uh, we'll go through the account based tab. And basically, this is an enrichment tab. So you can put in first name, you can put in last name, you can put in the company or domain name, or you can use that little paperclip and actually upload um, a CSV uh, of, you know, domain names, which is extremely powerful. You just have good enrichment here. All the emails are validated. Um, and then you can put in the job role as well. Um, so you can basically find that job role from those companies. Um, you also have some keyword selection. You can see I kind of put those in. You have some keyword selection selections and you can also search their past uh, employment history so if you want to find people that were at that company at some point um, otherwise it's going to find the people that are currently at that company and, and live scrape that um, once you search that you can pop out a csv super super powerful to have a good enrichment um, you know program and, and be able to you know manually go find um, target prospects somewhere else find their domain names and then go ahead and like find the right job role at those companies um, I use that kind of strategy a lot, especially with like the more manual outreach that we'll do. Um, you know, you may just kind of like happen upon a company. Um, it really works, really works well just to be able to like find these companies. And, and also for low volume research where you're going to do like manual outreach works really well. Okay, now we have the market based tab. Um, and this is, uh, let, let's start with the search criteria. So starting with the search criteria, uh, you can see that there's some really great filters. Um, there's industry, obviously, there's location. Um, which is important, obviously. You have employee size. You have their monthly AdWords budget, which is huge. You have the technologies being used, which is really great and also pretty accurate um, in my experience. You have hiring for, which is actually scraping job posts and finding companies that are hiring for a specific role. And you have like company news, um, which is like, you know, do they have a new partnership? Are they doing a merger? Um, you know, uh, do they just have personnel changes? You know, these kinds of things. Um, these are just really, really, really cool um, and important um, data that you may want to have uh, in, in, in your toolkit as you go forward. Um, so those kinds of filters uh, are not available on all apps like this, especially at the price point. So definitely um, highly recommend, you know, utilizing and trying some different things. You can test a lot of different things with this app. You can do like an industry in a location with employee size. You can do kind of that normal sort of stuff. Um, or you can actually go out there and, you know, look for people hiring for a specific job role that, you know, were founded in a specific year that just had personnel changes. Um, you know what I mean? Um, these kinds of signals can go a long way. Okay, now we're looking at the people criteria. Um, so we scroll down. Now we can select job roles, you know, like if you're looking for CEOs or sales representatives or chief marketing officers or whatever you're looking for, you can put in those roles. You can choose the, con the, the location of that specific person, um, not just the company headquarters. You can look at their years of work experience, their time in their latest role, which is great, their estimated salary, which is unbelievable, um, the skills that they have tagged around the internet and their major um, in college. And so you have a bunch of different options here. Um, then you can start searching. So once you click on that button, um, you can go ahead and start the search and you'll open it up into a table like this where you can see, okay, um, you know, here, here's the person's name, here's the company they're part of. You can look at their social profiles, um, all that kind of stuff. And you also have filters on the side. So you can require an email, um, you, can, you can require a mailing address, you can require a phone number. Um, you can put the max results per company if you, you know, don't want that many people per company, for example. Um, currently employed, currently unemployed. There's just um, some really awesome filters so you can go ahead and filter that search. 
um, that it just gives you the power to be able to kind of get deeper and deeper and deeper into, you know, kind of like exactly what you're looking for. Cause maybe you're doing cold calling. You don't need emails. Uh, you can just grab phone numbers. Right. So, um, maybe you just need emails. So this is really, really cool. Um, and I also, so then once you have this search, you can add uh, this to a list. Okay. By clicking those buttons, you can also check them and add them in bulk. Uh, but you can you can actually add those to a list and then you can go and view those lists later so you have your actual breakdown of you know okay like i have this list of uh, a segmented audience that that i'm looking um you know to to look further into you can also go ahead and click on the person's result and you're going to open up all the data about them you're going to open up you know, you're going to see their contact info you're going to see their phone numbers um, you're going to see their estimated years of work experience their estimated salary their time in the latest role you'll see their whole job history um, everything you know scraped from all over the internet including linkedin um, and including different other platforms, different data that they've uploaded in different places. Um, so you can see a lot of data here and kind of figure out exactly if this is the right person, um, you know, that you want to sell to. And of course, when you want to export your list, you can go to that list tab and you can go ahead and click on the little three, um, you know, three dots icon on the far right there and export to either at CSV or you can export straight to Google Sheet, which is also extremely powerful because then you can create um, automations. You know, every time a new record is added to Google Sheet, go ahead and send it to this, um, you know, outreach program and um, you know, put add it to this campaign, this specific campaign, you know, things like this. So, so the Google Sheets integration is really nice, um, you know, to create more complex workflows. Also, LeadFuse has an AI option where it will continuously scrape the filters and find the people from a certain filter ongoing. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I highly recommend LeadFuse and uh, best of luck with your outreach. And I hope this helps.